Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out the Von Trapp Brewing Maple Roush beer. Maple Roush Lager. I don't think we've ever had a Roush beer on the channel before. So this will be an interesting one. So what is Roush? Roush is just smoked malt. Just, it means smoked. So a Roush beer is just a smoked beer. That's, that's it. Okay, so it's like the German word it's, for smoked? Yeah, it's in the same family as a Martzen. So you're, we're gonna get a lot of, well, I'm expecting to get a lot of the same characteristics as a Martzen would have. So caramel, it's gonna be, you know, malty, grain heavy. It's not gonna have a lot of uh, hop character to it. Probably very little, if any. Um, so yeah, but this is different because it's smoked. So it's gonna have anywhere from a mild smoky flavor to an insanely kind of bacon-esque, woody, you know, smoky campfire mm. kind of character, which we gotta say that we hate. We've had smoked beers before. Yeah. And uh, not a big fan of smoked beers. Mm. They remind me too much of like smoked meats. Yeah, of eating like overly, overly smoked meats. Yeah. Or like a campfire, like you just inhaling that campfire fumes. It's that woody smell that that's what does that. Yeah. It's not, a big it's fan. not great in a beer. I don't think so anyway. This is different though, because this one actually is brewed with um, Vermont maple syrup. Yeah, so that's the weird addition in this one. Vermont, since they're in Stowe, Vermont, maple syrup, right? Yeah. So there is that. The head does pour uh, as expected. It's, it's very creamy and sort of foamy and, and this kind of off tan color. Very expected. It looks very clear as it should. Oh yeah, okay. So I am getting a lot of the uh, sweet characteristics you'll normally get in a Martzen. Um, a little too sweet, actually. And that could very well be because of the maple. I'm getting that maple and that smokiness. And I am getting slight smokiness, very like a, almost like a vagueness to it. And it's on the very back end. It's uh, It plays really well with that malt character. I feel like it's... Uh... I feel like it lies under mm -hmm. that smokiness that malt character does. Uh, but let's read this can real fast. We always forget to do that nowadays. Maple Roush. Our Roush beer is a tribute to the liquid gold created each spring in the Von Trapp family sugar house. Uh, so they make their own maple syrup and put it in the mm. beer, which is pretty cool. Uh, a touch of Roush malt is used to create the base layer of subtle smoke. A blend of Munich and Carafa malts gives this lager a deep and full body balanced with noble hops. The maple rounds out this lager perfectly. Brewed on the grounds of Von Trapp and Stowe, Vermont, this lager is crafted with the finest traditional ingredients and pure Vermont spring water, 6.2%, 20 IBU, 16 ounce can. Out of all the Von Trapp beers that we've had, we've liked all of them. So I'm hoping that this, even though it's in a style that I don't really like too much, might be a passable option. So let's dive in and see if that's true. Cheers. You know what? It's not, it's not super smoky. Um, eh. eh. Yeah. Eh, yeah. It's, it creeps on you. It mm -hmm. kind of creeps on you. It's like the first note is the sweetness from the maple. And then that this. mid, that mid note is definitely all malt. And then comes the smoke and it hits you kind of right in the back of the palate and it lingers. Yeah. It's a bitter, smoky, lingering thing. I'm not sure if I like I don't know. how pronounced it's turning out to be. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's definitely in the style. Yeah. Right? I mean, it definitely exudes confidence when it comes to the style. Personal preference though, I'm not super into it. It's it's well brewed. It's very light. It's very drinkable. No hop character whatsoever. You can tell it's <laughs> a really well done beer, but personal preference, I'm not digging the smokiness that's coming out in the. It's yeah. just hanging out. 
my throat. Yeah, this yeah. isn't this isn't for me. Um, but but I can see people that really like this style. They would they would no. really dig this. I, I think this is probably one of the finer examples of this style. Just out of the ones we've had, it's the best one. Do I like any of them? No. But that's just me. Originally, back in like the 1800s, they used three different materials for smoking these Roush malts. They used hay, wood, and coal. And coal was, and this was like highly dependent on where in Europe you, you were like physically located mm -hmm. because like certain materials, I guess, weren't available right. in different- They're natural resources. Exactly. Like coal. So coal like imparted this gross flavor and like it was kind of frowned upon by a lot of people to use that. Um, but that was the original, I think, way to, to fire the, the kilns is with coal. So, but it was expensive and dirty and like people didn't like the taste. So I that's- I can imagine all of that just to brew some beer. I mean, people did crazy shit. I mean, it, it's an art form, right? So I guess, I guess you should. It's okay the History is, is wild, full of people that do wild stuff all the time. And beer is no exception. Like there is so much history behind brewing, it's it's almost unbelievable. Like, why do people go through such lengths to to make a drink? Yeah, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> like, who thought that this would be a good idea? <laughs> Especially when you drink it and like ten seconds later it's gone. It's it like totally you just spent all of that time and effort. You just pee it out. And just to pee it out, yeah. But it totally Crazy. is a good idea, and people should keep doing that because we like drinking it. But. I mean, it is, right? I mean, you guys get me, like, it's crazy to think about, like, putting that much effort into something you don't know if it'll, I mean, there's a first time for everything, I suppose, but like, that's nuts, I don't know. Now, I think though, I like this better, this version better than like a regular Roush beer because of the maple. Yeah, put in there. it definitely, I feel like it kind of smooths out that smoky flavor, Right. excuse me. It, it, it balances that a little bit more rather than getting this harsh smokiness, you get kind of this smooth smokiness. And it's, I feel like it's a little bit lighter or maybe that's just the way they, they brew, you know, they say a touch of Roush malt. So it's a little bit. Wow. <laughs> Some of them probably use more. I mean, this style is sort of, I feel like it's kind of open to interpretation because we've had some that are like, st like taste like straight on campfire except for that back note. You don't get a lot in, in the mouth, in the, in the first couple sips. It's just, it kind of builds. It's mostly gone now. It kind of disappears pretty yeah. quickly. So it doesn't hang around or linger. Um, but it, if you keep drinking and you keep sipping, it'll, it'll hang around for longer and longer and longer and you'll get more and more smokiness. I like how I'm here explaining about how I really don't like the smokiness of this beer, but I, yet I continue to keep drinking, so. <laughs> Says something, I guess. That tells you the beer is good. We're not desperate. We got tons just of not, beer. Yeah, just we got not a shit ton of beer. Preference. I have to say, I I like it for the style, and I think it's a well done beer, and I like the fact that they included maple in it. But I would. This is a one and done for me. I would. Yeah. I would not go back for a second or third beer on this one. That's just one, and you're done. Yeah, I'm glad we only got one of these because it's not. It's not totally in my wheelhouse. Uh, but again, I think it's the best example of this style that we've ever had. Yep. So there's that. All right, guys, well, that does it from us. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you liked what you saw, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out. Until next time, stay crafty. Cheers. Cheers.